I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I would see the day where Mr. Beast himself would actually respond to the allegations and all the stuff that Doc Pack has said about him. And especially now that Rosanna Pancino has joined the party with a lot of uh, commentary on the stuff that Jimmy's been doing. So today, we're finally gonna look at the response that Mr. Beast himself said on the allegations. At least I think it is. I'm gonna be blindly reading to this, so who knows, maybe it's a bunch of uh, BS and I'm going to sit here still calling Mr. Beast a fraud, but you never know. Let's see. All right. So this is the original post that started this entire saga with Jimmy saying that uh, he's disgusted by Chris Tyson's behavior and he's banning him and they're no longer working together, uh, which is strange because Jimmy knew about Chris Tyson's behavior for many years now, which is, you know, that's just strange. But anyway, this is the tweet that uh, the... I think this is the tweet. So, a three-month investigation into allegations regarding my company has concluded. The law firm slash investigations reviewed millions of documents slash messages and conducted 39 interviews. I was asked to refrain from making public statements to enable a detailed and unbiased investigation. Below are the conclusions. All right, so we have two long pages of stuff. So, we might as well go through this. So... So from November 1st, which was yesterday, uh, via email, the board of directors at Mr. Beast LLC, or as Doc Pack calls it, the company. So the re internal investigation, key findings and conclusion. Dear board of directors, as you know, in July 2024, Mr. Beast LLC, the company, as I just said, uh, engaged a Quinn Emanuel uh, Urquhart and Sullivan LLP to conduct an, an, an internal investigation into specific allegations made publicly uh, in incidents reported internally and issues raised by employees in interviews, including with respect to current and or former current per company personnel in the company's workplace environment and culture at your direction. Quinn Emanuel immediately uh, launched a comprehensive investigation, which has now concluded. Uh, the following uh, set uh, the, fo the following sets forth certain key findings and conclusions from the investigation, without waiving any applicable privileges, including but not limited to the attorney uh, client. Uh, final term to brightness a little bit. Uh, privilege and work product protection. Uh, as an initial matter to protect the investigation's integrity, on July 31st, Quinn Emanuel uh, requested that a former employee, Dawson French, Doc Pack 404, uh, cease uh, making public allegations against the company, as those were the topic of an ongoing investigation. We also requested that current employees refrain from public comments to ensure the investigation yielded accurate information and that witness witnesses were not tainted. The intent was to foster candid interviews and complete cooperation with the investigatory process. Quinn Emanuel, I mean, I keep seeing Quinn Emanuel. I'm guessing this is like like a, a representative lawyer for the Mr. Beast company, but whatever. So he conducted 39 interviews of current and former employees. Over 4.5 million documents collected from mobile phones, emails, telegrams, discords, whatsapps, and Slack were processed and reviewed. The collaboration and cooperation sought at the uh, outset were achieved throughout this process. Quinn Emanuel th thoroughly investigated all public allegations and any other that arose, any others that arose during the investigation. So I'm guessing the next page is where, uh, and this is all the information down here. So I'm guessing the next page is where we're going to get into the goods. Uh, the investigation produced the following significant findings. Allegations of sexual misconduct, uh, example, uh, PDF, philia, grooming, CP, etc., between company employees and minors uh, are without basis. The allegations were soundly rejected, include, including by alleged victims. Allegations of the company knowingly employing individuals with uh, uh, proclivities or histories towards illegal or questionable legal conduct or sim similarly without basis. Here, too, the allegations were uniformly rejected. Uh, several isolated instances of workplace harassment and misconduct were identified during the investigation. The company was informed of such conduct and took swift and appropriate action actions to address the 
incidents, including where necessary, uh, disciplining or letting go of implicated individuals. As you are all well aware, the company has grown uh, uh, exceedingly quickly from a YouTube startup comprised of a group of talented young individuals to a much larger entity. It is not uncommon that policies and practices essential in a mature company would lag behind commercial success. This appears to have been the case here and has, in certain instances, allowed for inappropriate conduct. It is clear that the company is committed to redeeming historical issues and creating a mature culture where problematic behaviors are not tolerated as it enters this new phase. The company has already implemented or is in the process of implementing changes to ensure a safe and professional cooperate culture today and moving forward. These include sending a clear message regarding tone at the top, hiring a new CEO, CPO, and a general counsel, and soon to be hired a CFO, uh, implementing mandatory co- uh, co- corporate training for all employees, developing new policies uh, codified in, in an employee handbook, establishing an anonymous uh, reporting uh, mechanism slash hotline for employees, uh, swiftly terminating individuals who violate company policy regar- regardless of their position or level within the company, identifying additional employees for targeted training and executive coaching to address professionalism and compliance with company policy this officially concludes our investigation we remain available if you need any follow-ups or have further questions very truly yours alex spiro or spiro i'm guessing that's the lawyer or one of the people who uh uh, helps with this investigation uh all right so i just finished reading this big statement uh, to me, uh, I might be wrong on this, but this looks like they are, they were looking at the behaviors that were made by people like Doc Pack, you know, Dawson and other people who violated company policy and are making new rules to make sure that the company is structured much better and is more professional in the foreseeable future. I mean, I haven't seen anything that, uh, uh, shows that Mr. Beast himself, Jimmy himself, is uh, innocent towards all the allegations of like hiring uh, a registered sex offender, like Delaware, or you know what is it? What did they say about all the leaked chats with Chris Tyson and everybody else? Uh, what about the illegal lotteries to children? You know, those are some things that obviously need to be mentioned. So I went to Dog Pack's Twitter to see if he would re- if he responded to this, and of course he did. Uh, he says, a three-month investigation is only two pages. Care to elaborate on how you didn't know you hired an RSO? Care to elaborate on the s- several isolated incidents of workplace harassment and misconduct? Yeah, I think that was mentioned somewhere in one of the pages. So yeah, overall, that was uh, a bit of a weird uh, investigation that this law firm concluded. So I don't know how this will be followed up. Maybe Dog Pack will make a fourth video. Or maybe Mr. Beast is somehow proven innocent in all of this. All I just know is there's going to be a lot of people who will respond to this. Uh, I can't wait for uh, Pegasus to make his videos. Most likely Stucky is going to respond to this law investigation. Uh, but whatever the case, I think I'm just ready to put this entire thing in the bag, bro. I'm ready to just stop this. Like this whole Mr. Beast versus Dog Pack, there's one simple thing that needs to be done, and it's something that requires both of them, Mr. Beast and Dog Pack, to lower both of their egos, be a little bit humbling at this point. They need to go into court. This must go to court. Stop hiding each other. And, you know, Dog Pack keeps going to Rosanna, and, uh, and Rosanna keeps helping him with finding all this information, and Mr. Beast is hiring. Uh, all these uh, law firms to do his dirty work and he's still putting out videos like it's nothing and you know you have chris dyson doing whatever the hell uh it's time to just finally put put this in the courtroom and put this thing to trial like i don't know maybe for a month or something all i know is there needs to be repercussions here like at this point i don't even know who's in the right and i don't know who's in the wrong so both sides need to provide compelling evidence Dog Pack has provided a ton of evidence and, you know, some people on the internet 
uh, are saying it's wrong. Maybe maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. All I know is I want this thing to end. I don't know, man. I think I have one final video of this entire saga in me, but after that, I'm done. No more Mr. Beast versus Dog Pack. It's time to go back to normal. All right, guys. Take care and peace.